Okay, Stalker, Evan here from Stock Music Musician, and today I want to talk about what the best sites are for licensing stock music. I'm speaking today, obviously, from the perspective of a musician looking for a marketplace to sell their music, not a person that's looking to purchase music. If that's what you're looking for, get out of here. Okay, so hopefully all those uh, interlopers have left and now it's just you and me. So let's talk about, first of all, just what is stock music? What's stock music licensing? A high level overview, sort of how it's distinct from other types of music licensing. Think about stock music licensing like this. You pre-write songs that could meet a need of a client, let's say a YouTube channel uh, or a TV show or a podcast and you put them in a library, a stock music library. So they're on the shelf, they're in stock, just like at a grocery store or at a retail store. And as a result of stock music being pre-made as opposed to customized to each scene, you need to follow some conventions, you need to keep it one tempo, you gotta do all these things. And if you wanna know how to do all of that, I've got a free five-day mini course that'll teach you how to get licensed in your music and make licensable music. There's a link down there. Go click it. Um, so now getting to the question of what are the best libraries for doing this. I think you're going to look at three or four different factors here. First of all, how good is your music, right? That's, that's at the end of the day, the be all end all. You can't, I can't give an across the board recommendation because if you are a professional composer, all the, all the libraries I'm going to recommend for you are useless. But I'm talking about somebody that these are the best stock music libraries for somebody who, you know, has a home studio. They've been making music for five or six years, maybe more. They make pretty good music. It's basically commercial quality, but maybe not quite there. And so that is who these libraries I'm about to talk to address. There's people out there, you know, that make really good music and they should be submitting to different libraries. It's a different process to submit to boutique libraries. Um, or exclusive libraries, as they're sometimes called. What I'm talking about instead are sites where you can basically upload the song by yourself, you come up with your own descriptions and metadata, and a, um, I guess you could say, a quality control goes on on the site. Somebody reviews your music to see if it's appropriate, and if it is, then they'll accept your songs and you can sell them. And so, in my view, the two best sites for doing this are Pond5 and Audio Jungle. I made a video comparing Pond5 versus Audio Jungle. I'll put a link down there. Um, but uh, it depends, I think, on the type of music you make. The good thing about both Pond5 and Audio Jungle is that they're non exclusive. What does that mean? That means if you put your music on one, you can put it on another. And you can put it on any other site you want, as long as that site is also non-exclusive. So, you know, as you grow as a composer, you might decide that there are better marketplaces or just as the industry changes and evolves, you might find that there are better places to put your music. Now, the other great thing about these sites is that they have a large number of buyers. They also have a large number of sellers, uh, which means a lot of competition for you. But there are a lot of opportunities to sell your songs which is good because that's a learning experience, right? Every time you sell a song, that means that somebody found it useful and it means you must have done something right. It's up to you to determine what that thing was that you did, right? But that's a data point. Whereas if you're just constantly getting rejected by more exclusive libraries, you're not getting data points other than I'm not good enough. And they're usually not gonna give you detailed feedback, so you're not gonna know why. So. Um, if you want to know the difference between Pond5 and Stock uh, Audio Jungle, go check out that video. But um, the, the main thing I just want to say here is if you're making more corporate music, which is sort of a style of music, then Audio Jungle is for you. It's the best place you should be. If you're not making even remotely commercial music, you should not bother with Audio Jungle because they have very specific standards about the type of music that they like to accept. And so just know which you are, and that will help guide you. Um, the other thing I'm going to say about the best music libraries for stock music, there's a few others. 
like audio sparks, which is quite good, but I don't know that I can recommend it for beginners principally because they have, although it's not exclusive, your agreement to license with them is in perpetuity, meaning that you can't take the songs down. Your songs have to be on that, on audio sparks forever. And so if you get a better opportunity down the line, you can't, you can't go back. It's just always going to be with audio sparks. And so I think you need to know your, the quality of your catalog. You need to know the lay of the land. You need to know sort of what you envision your career as a music licensor to look like. Um, if you just envision sort of being in the non-exclusive stock space, then I think audio sparks is a great choice. Um, but if you could see like, yeah, you're just getting your feet wet right now, but you might want to take these songs out and send them to some exclusive library down the line, then I think you might want to stay away from audio sparks. Another thing I'd add just in determining what the best stock music sites are is the usability for you as an uploader. I think that audio sparks and pond five have a much better and more usable interface from the musician side. With Audio Jungle, you've got to run through a ton of annoying time-sucking hoops. Uh, well, you don't run through the hoops, you jump through the hoops to mix metaphors. Um, so that would be my principal advice if you're trying to figure out what the best site for stock music is. I hope you found this helpful. If you've got any questions, please just leave them below. I'll do my best to answer them. And I'd also really urge you to check out that free five-day mini course because it will give you everything you need to know to get started with your music licensing career. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.